the slope of the tangent to the curve y is equal to fx is equal to dy upon dx and this is given to be equal to 2x plus 1. Integrating both sides with respect to x we get y is equal to integral of 2x plus 1 dx which is equal to x square plus x plus the constant of integration c. Now we are given that the curve passes through the point 1, 2. Therefore the point 1, 2 will satisfy the equation of the curve which implies that 2 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus c and therefore c is equal to 0. Therefore the equation of the curve is y is equal to x square plus x. Adding 1 upon 4 to both sides, this can be written as y plus 1 upon 4 is equal to x square plus x plus 1 upon 4. The right hand side is a perfect square equal to x plus half whole square. Therefore, the equation of the curve can also be written as y plus 1 upon 4 is equal to x plus half whole square. Now from the equation y is equal to x square plus x, it follows that the curve passes through the origin because 0, 0 satisfies the equation of the curve. Similarly, from the equation y plus 1 upon 4 is equal to x plus half whole square, we note that the curve is a parabola with the vertex at the point minus half minus 1 upon 4. We also notice that the right hand side is positive and therefore y plus 1 upon 4 is positive or y is greater than minus 1 upon 4. We are now in a position to plot this curve on the Cartesian plane. The vertex of the parabola is at the point minus half minus 1 upon 4. And the curve is an upward facing parabola that passes through the origin and always stays above the line y is equal to minus 1 upon 4. The required area is bounded by this parabola the x-axis and the line x is equal to 1. Therefore the required area is equal to the integral of y dx where x varies from 0 to 1. Substituting the value of y from the equation of the curve we get the area is equal to integral x square plus x between the limits 0 and 1. This is equal to x cube upon 3 plus x square upon 2 between the limits 0 and 1 which simplifies to 5 upon 6, which is the required area.